forward and we'll move on to our 907. Our 907 is a presentation of proclamation designating the week of May 21st through May 27th as National Safe Boating Week in Lake County and Vice Chair Scott will read this proclamation. Great, come up and join me this morning. Come on up here with me. Yeah. It's a team effort. Come on up and join us. Come on up. Join us today. Good morning. Good morning. Board of Supervisors, County of Lake, State of California proclamation designating the week of May 21st through May 27th, 2022 as National Safe Boating Week in Lake County. Whereas in 2020, 767 people died in fatal boating related incidents in the United States. 534 of these fatalities were due to drowning and 450 of these boaters would be alive today if they had worn their life jacket. 450 would still be alive if they would have worn their life jacket. I think that's a really important piece. Whereas there is evidence that boating activities rose significantly during the pandemic, resulting in an increase in boating accidents and fatalities in the United States. And whereas Lake County Flo Flotilla has donated to Clear Lake State Park children's life jackets to be loaned for daily use at the swimming beach and with lifeguards being trained by the flotilla in the proper fitting of the life jackets. And whereas Flotilla is now in partnership with the Lake County State Park as ambassadors of boating and marine safety. And whereas the U.S. Coast Guard um, limitations due to pandemic for all Flotilla have been eased and Flotilla 8x8 of Lake County will continue its efforts to educate the boating public by resuming safety patrols, offering boating classes, free vessel safety checks, and encouraging the public to practice safe boating habits and wear your life jackets. Now, therefore, be a, be a resolve that the Board of Supervisors of the County of Lake does hereby designate the week of May 21st through May 27th, 2022 as National Safe Boating Week in Lake County and urges all users of Clear Lake, Lake Pillsbury, Blue Lakes, Indian Valley Reservoir to safeguard their lives by wearing life jackets when boating exercising safe boating practices, and boat responsibly. Wear your life jackets. Passed and adopted the 17th day of May, 2022. Yes, well, you want to introduce yourself, and if you want to have anything to say about it. Uh, yes, I'm uh, Dorothy DeLapay. I'm Public Affairs Officer for the uh, Vatilla, and this is my uh, Vatilla Commander, Kevin Keeley, and I just wanted to say that uh, we participated in the um, uh, Hope for Health at Austin Park on Saturday, and we were able to fit at 175 children with free life jackets so that they will be safe in and around the water. Kevin, do you have anything? I'm good. I'm just mailing it. Thank you very much. <laughs> I want to thank the uh, flotilla and the Coast Guard. Don't leave yet. Oh, I got to Don't leave yet. So when we talk about traffic safety, it's really similar to boating safety. There's three E's of traffic, I would say, and boating safety, education, enforcement, and engineering. Your, your, your organization is very much responsible for the education. Thank you for your donation of the life jackets to our youth. Uh, of course, we're tasked with the enforcement, and the engineering has to go with the fitting of the life jackets to make sure the life jackets are, are uh, fitted properly. When Supervisor Scott says that lives would have been saved, that's a very powerful statement. When we talk about seatbelts might save lives. We know that life jackets do save lives because people drown, and with a properly fitted life jacket, that keeps that from happening. So thank you for your work, and thank you, uh, Sergeant Davidson, and your crew. Thank you. Everybody, yes, thank you. <laughs> Great, thank you, 
Is there anyone from the chambers that would like to say anything else on this item or anyone from the board? Um, I'll look uh, online. I don't see anybody's hands up online. With that, I'll bring it back to the board for the next item. I'll add something real quick. As we know, with our lake levels going lower and lower, that means that there's more and more debris uh, in the water. And I know from last year, uh, the sheriff was uh, telling us that there is not a day that goes by where they don't hear of a complaint of something going on in our water with uh, boats interacting with debris. So please make sure to be safe out there. It's really important, especially when our water is low. Uh, there, there's a lot of potential issues uh, that you may not see as you're driving around out there.